guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 5 Royal with the Lakes of Retail Games. On the last episode, we had a couple days left until the deadline, so we hung out with a few confidants, including Akechi and er, uh, I can't actually remember who else we hung out with. A couple of other people! Um, and then plot hit us like a train as Kanashiro actually confessed his crimes to the police, and thus we were validated in our change of heart having been successful on him. Err. Uh, with that out of the way, we are deciding that we're going to have a little celebration after our exams which are coming up. So we're going to go to a fireworks festival together, which is going to be super fun. Err... Uh, I think that's pretty much everything that happened. Oh yeah, the police are taking all of the credit for the arrest of Kanashiro and for the change of heart and everything because they're saying that the Phantom Thieves can't possibly be involved and then Akechi is being all like, no, the Phantom Thieves probably are involved and they're probably doing awful, awful stuff and that's like, okay, Akechi, sure. <laughs> um, and Sai is unhappy because she couldn't get a promotion. Yeah, people are having a, a fun time over in the working world and here we are, students, worried about our exams. Uh, also, we got a new request from Mishima about a cyberstalking girl and speaking again of cyberstalking, someone seems to be listening to our conversations. Which is nice. Anyway, let's get on with the episode, shall we? I think we have an evening where we can do whatever, we just can't go outside. Apparently if Morgana's sitting, it means you can do stuff with LeBlanc. I think I might have said this before, but you know. But it means you can't go out, out. Yeah, which seems to be the case. Hi, Mona. Hmm. We've known each other for three months now. You guys have really improved a lot since we last met. Since we first met. Indeed we have, Mona. Let's sit over here. I can't wait to see this fireworks. Me too, it's gonna be so much fun. Actually, we got that poster from on, can we put it up? I just remembered hmm. that we um, did that. Let's put up the idol poster. An idol poster, eh? That must bring back memories of Harajuku. Hmm. Do you wanna still keep decorating? No, we're good. We have an idol poster now. Look at our idol poster. It's so nice, so pretty. It shows up in the underground sometimes. Let's check on our plant as well while we're here. Hey, should you give us some plant nutrients by now? Yes, let's give us let, let's give it the mega fertilizer. Whoa. You're gonna use that one? You must really care about this plant. I really do, Mona. I care a lot about this plant. It gives me life. Anyway. Yes, that should do it for a while. It should indeed. Right, what should we do with our evening? Um we could read, we could make coffee, we could watch TV. Hmm. Let's have a look at our social stats, shall we? I don't know how close we are to leveling up on anything. Uh, so it'd be good to check. Hi, Sojiro. <sighs> I'm fed up with this. Oh, I just want to forget about watching you live an easy life. Sorry, Sojiro. Jeez, I'm trying my best here. <laughs> uh, what's on TV? Now an update on the arrest of Kanashiro, suspected mafia and scam ringleader. Just before his arrest, calling cards with the suspect's name were posted all over the area. Pictures of these were spread on the internet. Some claim these are proof that the Phantom Thieves exist. Hmm. Putting calling cards up all over town was really effective. Getting famous, Mikey was pretty busy. I imagine it probably would. Well, we'll see how that works out for us. Hey. Let's go to the bathroom. <laughs> how are we doing, Mona? Uh, okay. No idea for knowledge, no idea for charm. Uh, somewhat close for proficiency. No idea for guts. Somewhat close to kindness. Okay. Um, I think I have a kindness book. I could read it. I might read, actually. We have speed reader, so it's kind of worth sitting down and just reading now. Um, but we don't really need kindness, do we? We kind of need charm more. Um, and I have a charm DVD to watch. You know what? We'll watch the DVD that I have. That's more important. Let's watch our DVD. Oh, oh, you rented something, yeah? Yeah, we got Bubbly Hills 90210. Let's watch it. Ugh, you think I go out with her? What do I look like? What? You liar. You told me you loved me just last night. It's a show about young adults set in the ritzy upscale neighborhood of Bubbly Hills. Whoa, is this what high schoolers are like overseas? Don't get any ideas, all right? Hey, hey! I really felt their desperate need to be loved by someone. Maybe you learned a thing or two about charm by watching this drama. Hmm. Well, a little bit goes a long way. 
Well then. Well, it's starting to get late. Let's head to bed soon, okay? I wonder what the Phantom Thief's goal is. Are they just choosing bad people to steal hearts from? Maybe someone's asking them to do it. Oh yeah, don't they have a form or something? What if you make a request on there and they follow through? <sighs> what a refreshing morning. How are you doing? I didn't expect the Phantom Thieves would suppress a man that even the police had trouble with. The fact they have so much support online is worrisome. I'm in a bind since I previously denounced them. All the interviews these days ask me about that. Still, can we really say the Phantom Thieves are on the side of justice with just this example? Let people talk. <laughs> oh, thank you. But I noticed that you're not saying that the Phantom Thieves are right. I suppose that was an unfair way to phrase it. I was originally investigating the mental shutdown incidents. Don't you think it's similar to the change of heart that the Phantom Thieves are doing? Hmm. Now that I think about it, their actions mirror the mental shutdown cases with the rate of victims. It's impossible not to see a connection there. Ah, sorry. I don't want to make you late. I'll see you again. It's even more packed than usual today. Now for the t t today's train news. Today's headlines are: Shibuya crime ring reveals all. The leader's confession has led to the led to the arrest of other key members. Sudden rampage, highway accident. The driver's death has been confirmed, taking the total count up to four. Hotspots of Tokyo. Come see the summer fireworks show on July 18th. I see. Thanks to Count Ashira spilling the beans, that organization is falling like a house of cards. <laughs> We're getting more and more famous. Okay, let's get started. Tests are coming up. Everyone's studying. I know some of you rely on all-nighters, but I can't recommend it. That really messes up your information retention. Oh, speaking of, do you guys know the difference between short-term and long-term memory? Hmm. The simple answer is that short-term memory is more temporary, contextual, but long-term memory stick with you. It's short-term. In the short-term, you're working with a hard limit. You retain only six, maybe seven pieces of information. But your brain's capacity for long-term information is huge. It might even be infinite, according to some theories. How about you? Okay, so I'm a Miyakun. What do you think about all this? Short-term memories only stick with you for seconds at a time. That said, how long do you think you can retain long-term memories? Um, so he wants to know how long you keep long-term memories, huh? This is a tricky one. What is a long-term memory anyway? Okay, I did psychology a few years ago. Quite a few years ago. And I feel like memory is the thing that stuck with me <laughs> the most. Um, Long-term memories are not memories of vocabulary terms, that's stupid. Uh, memories that last a long time are memories of your whole life. Well, they're memories that last a long time, I believe, because it just means they last through the long term, but not um, not entirely, and definitely not always of your whole life. So I would say this one, memories that last a long time. Yeah, it was something like that. So anyway, you keep them for a long time. The question is, how long? Maraki mentioned something about the amount of memories you could store, right? Something like... Six or seven. Oh, uh, yeah, a maximum of ten, but it's six or seven. A maximum of ten. Huh, is that really what he said? Give it some more thought. What is a long-term memory any- uh, Wait, really? Oh, was it six or seven pieces of short-term information? It might have been. Err... Uh, but it can't be infinite, right? I'll try it. Infinite. Yeah! If you theoretically have infinite space for them, then theoretically you'd be able to retain them for... 
forever? Yeah, I think so too. Nice. So that's it. Long-term memories will never really fade away. This is it. That's right. That's right, I'm impressed. Basically, stuff encoded into your long-term memory never really goes away. Short-term memories become long-term memories through reiteration. It'd be great if you could all encode all the test answers to long-term memory, huh? Ah well, can't always get what you want. He's pretty smart. I didn't expect that. He might not be too bad. Nice going! You're on a roll today! That actually makes sense, because that's why a lot of negative memories stick in your head a lot more, is because you go over them so many times in your head in order to retain it so that you know not to do the same mistake again. Um, usually, or just so that you can avoid the, the same encounter another time. But your good memories don't seem to stick as much, which isn't a nice thing, but it seems to be true. And that's why like PTSD and stuff happen. It, they, they stick onto those memories for their entire lives. It never really goes away. Huh. It's so interesting. Thank you for this interesting class, Marky. <laughs> but at least you got summer break once the exams are over. So do your best to study, okay? Yeah, memories never really go away. That means I'll remember my past eventually, right? Well, amnesia is a different thing, Mona. <laughs> Seven eighteen, Marine Day. Finals end on the 16th, so that should be good, right? What are you talking about? The Fireworks Festival! You're really quick to look up stuff like that. Impressive, Ryuji. It's easier to work when you got a goal in mind, yeah? Hey, we're in the middle of class. Talk about those things later. Yeah, yeah. Hey, are you listening? Hey, I'm a Mia. You, pay attention! Is this how you listen when someone's talking to you? I feel murderous intent. Oh. Ah, does that look like it hurt? <laughs> you hit him right in the forehead. Pay attention! That's what you get for daydreaming. Kids these days have no respect for their elders. Good grief. Looks like you need more proficiency to completely dodge that. Heading home? It's late. It's rare to. It's rare running into you at this hour. That reminds me. Oh, that reminds me. Do you remember the counseling Dr. Mark is offering? It seems to be growing quite popular. I saw someone heading into the nurse's office just as I was leaving the school. The teachers say he's been well worth his time here, but I have a feeling there is more to his popularity than just talent. Hmm. <sighs> Maybe I should find out for myself at some point. What about studying? <laughs> Naturally, that'll still happen when I get home. It's part of my daily routine. Excuse me. I appreciate your concern, but how about yourself? Depending on exam scores, there may not be a fireworks festival for anyone to attend. Were you aware? <laughs> I'm joking. But, but make sure you study well, alright? Alright then, I need to buy some more test prep booklets on the way home. See you later! Senpai! What a pleasant surprise! Are you headed home too? Same here. I don't have club practice today. That reminds me, there's something I wanted to report to you. Would now be a good time? Sure thing. Thank you. Why don't we find a seat somewhere? Huh? And you are... It's been quite a while, Akechi-san. And the same for you. Yoshizawa-san, right? You two know each other? My father works at a TV station. Have you ever seen Good Morning Japan? My father's the director. I've been brought onto the show as a guest a number of times now. That's how I ended up becoming acquainted with Yoshizawa-san. I didn't know you knew her as well. She's my friend. 
He helped me out of a jam before, and now he's been offering me guidance. Helped you out of a jam, huh? I see. So, what were you two up to? Oh, right! I was just about to share some exciting news. It's nothing to keep secret, so I may as well spill it now. About that summer competition I mentioned to you before? I was chosen to be our club representative! Congratulations. This only feels like the beginning to me, though. Isn't your club's team considered to be quite prestigious? And you're their representative. I must say, that's extremely impressive. Thank you. I'll do my best to make everyone proud. I'll be cheering you on as well. Ah, I have an idea. Since all three of us are here, why don't we go somewhere as a group? We can call it our little celebration for Yoshizawa-san's success. That would be wonderful! Does that work for you, Senpai? That settles it. Would you mind if I chose the place? There's a wonderful little cafe I know about. Of course. Lead the way. Yoshizawa-san? You drink hot beverages even in the summer? I have to prevent my body from getting too cold, since the meat's coming up rather soon. I see. You make sure you're covering all your bases. So, what do you have, Akechi? Good point. Well, some people say coffee can cool you off, even when hot, so I try to avoid that, too. I had this image that you enjoy sweet things, Akechi-san. Is that untrue? I swear I saw you eating fried sweet bread on TV just the other day. It's all part of a marketing strategy. That sort of stunt is an easy crowd pleaser. You seem to have your own bases covered as well. I feel lied to. Presenting oneself in a favorable light is nothing surprising. More surprising is just how innocent you seem to be. I've been wondering, how do you two know each other? His social studies class visited the set of the TV show I appeared on. Ah, that's right. Second year's got to go to a TV station. He and I exchanged our opinions during the shoot, and his way of thinking intrigued me. I can definitely see that. Senpai's take on things often helps me as well. That reminds me, Yoshizawa-san. You had mentioned that he's been providing you with some guidance. Yes. Like you just said, his way of thinking is intriguing. I figured I could benefit from his input. In that case, let's play a little game. Would you mind if I pose the same question to you that I first asked him? No, go right ahead. So, my question was, what do you think of the Phantom Thieves, Yoshizawa-san? The Phantom Thieves? You mean in the case that they do in fact exist, yes? I admit that the assistance of others in need is a truly great act. But, I simply can't agree with their methods. I see. Care to explain why? I suspect the Phantom Thieves' existence isn't going to be beneficial to society in the long run. How so? Well, for example, when someone's faced with a problem to overcome, I believe they need to do it themselves. Getting help from others is totally fine, but in the end, it takes a person's initiative to truly create lasting change. If society relied upon a safety net like the Phantom Thieves, I worry that people would stop making a conscious effort. Granted, this depends on how severe the problem is, and it's inaccurate to apply generalizations to an entire population, but I believe a society where everyone simply leaves matters to the Phantom Thieves wouldn't last for very long. See? So, in the sense of a person's growth, their actions actually hinder it. Quite an interesting take on the matter. Let me ask you then, what do you think of Yoshizawa-san's opinion? She's not wrong. Ah, so you think you should let others come to their own conclusions on the matter? Wait. Could you actually be a fan of the Phantom Thieves, Senpai? 
I didn't mean to start an argument. I just can't help myself sometimes. Let's change the subject to something a bit lighter. I'm sorry, I should probably get going. If I'm away from home too late, my parents will begin to worry. Right, then let's call it a day. Good luck on your competition. I'll be rooting for you. Yes, thank you. Well then, see you later. Ah, you're back. I see you had your friends over for a study session, huh? How do you know? Nothing gets by me. I own the place, remember? I can tell what goes on here just by looking at the tables. Ah, oh, that's fair. So hi, that was a new scene. Oh my goodness, that was so much fun! With Kasumi and, and Akashi? Oh my goodness. That's so interesting. I actually, I, I like heard a couple of things about the new characters before I started playing, obviously, because they've been out in Japan for ages. And I'd heard as much as that Kasumi, or Kasumi, sorry, is against the Phantom Thieves, and I hadn't heard much else. But actually hearing her opinions on it is so interesting because she's not wrong. Like, as I said, in that case anyway, if a society where everyone just relied on the Phantom Thieves, that that's the same as what's happening right now, right? People just rely on the police to handle things, but the police aren't doing everything they can to handle things. The Phantom Thieves right now are being quite effective in changing certain people's hearts, but there's only so much they can do. So, in the long run, it's not a sustainable practice. So, to use the Phantom Thieves maybe in conjunction with something else would maybe be better, but it's not a long-term solution, I don't think. But that's just my personal opinion on the matter, and hearing that Kasumi feels that way is like, oh, okay, yeah, I get that, I understand that, yeah. Man, that was interesting, okay. Err, <laughs> uh, we have some text here. Err, uh, ooh, Hifumi and on. Actually, we might need points with on, so we should probably hang out with her. Let's watch TV and stuff first, though. Hi, Soju. Uh, oh, this is just the same as what is always- Okay, mm. he's still locked, it's fine. Hi. Next, an update on the accident that occurred while the public was focused on the Kanashiro accident arrest. At 8 o'clock this morning, a car spun out of control in a, in a highway accident that left four dead. The police intend to press charges for the deaths of the victims against the, the driver at fault. The man in question had no history of disease and was a driver for the restaurant giant Goodness Food. What did you say? Traffic accidents are scary. You'd better drive safe. Oh, do you mean in the metaverse? I was gonna say we can drive, but <laughs> technically in the metaverse, I guess we do. Oh man, yeah, that is a point. Anyway, so we have text from Hifumi and On. Hifumi won't level up. On, however, I should probably get points with just in case. Uh, so let's look at this text at the very least. Yeah, we've already seen that exact text before, so that's fine. On, hi. I'm already bummed about tests coming up. I'm in trouble for anything that's not English. I haven't been studying at all. Oh, maybe we can make some progress if we keep an eye on each other. Wanna study together? So what's it gonna be? Are you gonna study with Lady On? Let's do it. You're a big help. Then let's meet at the diner in Shibuya. This sucks. <sighs> what is this? I'm so confused. What is the meaning? I don't know. This doesn't make any sense. Let's think together. Yeah, you can't abandon Lady On. Think like your life depends on it. Ooh, I got three points of knowledge there. Not bad. Okay. This stuff should be nothing compared to Shadows. Let's work together and defeat it, Ren. Okay, time to work. <sighs> I'm spent. Hey, did you know there's gonna be a, a summer festival in Odaiba? A summer festival, huh? How could anyone eat so much fatty food when it's so hot out? Man, you just don't get it. It's because it's hot out that we eat all that meat. 
Come on, let's go check it out. I'll treat you to a skewer. Hmm, a summer festival, hmm. huh? You think they'll have any A5 beef there? Well, you should worry about finals first. Once those are over, it'll be summer vacation, so stay focused. My hope rests with the Phantom Thieves. I'm so glad the Phantom Thieves are all over the news. Yeah, they've really taken off since the whole Kamashita thing. The legend of the Phantom Thieves started at our school. We're practically one of them. And, and who can relate to what they're doing? Punishing corrupt adults to no, up to no good? The police should take notes. Quiet down. People sure are making a fuss even though it's right before exams. Behind, Ka behind Kanashiro's arrest are the Phantom Thieves, the mysterious group that changes people's hearts. If I recall, there were similar rumors back during that business with Kamashita-kun. Help the weak and crush the strong, truly a modern legend of the Gentleman Thief. In the long history of humans, the Gentleman Thief has been seen briefly during times of turmoil. Now then, please look at this picture. Amamiya-kun. This picture depicts the final moments of Ishikawa Goemon. Do you know the answer? He did something during the Sengoku period that had him and his family boiled to death. Do you know what he did? Um, is it theory? Um, I would imagine theory, right? Because he was a gentleman thief. Um, he was like the Japanese version of Robin Hood. We read about this in Yusuke's persona background. Um, we'll have a look at the network, but I believe it was probably theory. Oh yeah, yeah, it was thievery. <laughs> thievery. This is it. Correct. Ishikawa Goemon is Japan's most famous thief. He's very gentleman, he's very popular, and some called him a gentleman thief. By the way, the Goemon bath, bath comes from his name. Only stealing from the rich and powerful and sharing with the poor. Goemon's exploits have been documented in many forms of media, like kabuki and novels. Wow, really? Amamiya-kun seems kind of smart, doesn't he? Nice go. Wow, well, you must be really smart to be able to answer a question like that. Thanks, Mona. We're so smart. But seeing those stars, it makes me wonder if maybe we could have gotten to level 5. Eh, whatever. However, it's not actually unclear whether or not Goemon was indeed a gentleman thief. Rebe rebellion against Hideyoshi, whose campaign had failed, propaganda by the government to sully, sully his name. The gentleman thief Goemon may, no may be no more than an illusion made by varying motivations. In actuality, most heroes and gentleman thieves throughout history are something like that. Yep. Let's just make sure people don't think we're just an illusion. But before that, you need to study for the exams that are starting tomorrow. Thanks for the reminder, Mona. It's open. Come in. Welcome. Oh, you're the student council president, Nijima-san, correct? Excuse me. Sorry for coming by so suddenly. It was nothing. Oh no, everyone's permitted to stop by whenever they feel like. I know the phrase counseling session can make some people nervous, but don't be. Considering you're the student council president, I'd rather they didn't force you to come here at all, actually. No. Well, I was advised to come, but I still chose it to do it on my own. Good. Oh, good. Glad to hear it. But please, there's no need to be concerned about my being here. Feel free to discuss anything with me. Uh, yes. Uh, right. So I shall. <laughs> you're sounding more like the counselor in here than me. See. Excellent grades, exemplary conduct. Wow, you appear to be the ideal honor student. No. Oh, not at all. In fact, quite the opposite. I'm actually a bit of a mess, and I always have to turn to others for help. Well, you sure had me fooled. Even still, getting help isn't a bad thing at all. In fact, it's wonderful that you have a support system. Indeed. Especially lately. I feel like I can't do anything right by myself nowadays. Hmm. Did something go wrong for you? Yes. 
yes, but it's nothing major. I've come to understand all too well that I, it's a bad idea to be taking on more of a burden than one should. Hmm, you really do seem like someone with a mature sense of responsibility. However, that may be why people around you, especially the adults who should be protecting you, rely on you so much. Hmm, adults who should be protecting me? Had I been clever enough to understand that earlier, things may have gone a bit differently for me. You think so? Uh, you live alone with your older sister. I see. Pardon my saying so, but it seems like you've been through quite a lot. But, honestly, it only felt like the norm to me. But our lack of adult guardians has to have been hard on my sister, even now as well. And I'd be lying if I said it wasn't hard for me too. Do you still remember them? Your parents? Yes. Hey, so... Not as much about my mother, admittedly, but... My father, without a doubt. In fact, now that I think about it, I may well have grown to be a bit uptight because of that. I see. Is that so? And are you doing okay now? Is your support system adequate? Well, it's not as if I have a team of employees or anything, but I do have people that I'm able to rely upon well. Of course, I'd never think of them as replacements for my father or my sister. No one could replace either of them for me. What I've lost won't ever come back. I just need to keep my chin up and push towards my future. Quite. Hmm, I like the way you put that. No one can ever be replaced, yet we need to keep pushing towards our future. Should anything come up that you want to help with, I'll be there to support you. Though my skills are pretty limited. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate the kind words. Hope you're ready for your exams. I'd be pretty sad if the I'd be pretty sad if the leader of the Phantom Thieves got bad, bad grades. I thought it was it, but no, it was Morgana is gonna be sad. Huh. Well, that's fun. Oh hey! Oh, that's so cute. They drew the logo. Oh man. There's also an A there. Is that like the Akechi A? <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Oh man. That scene with Makoto was fun. With her in the counseling room. Cause she really does seem like she's so composed, but obviously she's not, considering everything we know about her now. Huh. It's good for all sorts of people to get some therapy. Alright. Ooh, okay, okay. Makoto wants to hang out and so does Ryuji. I think Makoto wants to study with us, but she's gonna level up if I'm not mistaken. Yusuke and Ryuji are definitely also gonna level up, so that's nice. And then no one else seems to be available. Err, uh, let's, let's have a quick look around first. Hi there. I used to be scared of going to Shibuya, but it's safer now, thanks to the Phantom Thieves. It looks like they saved me again. I guess I'll become a fan of, a fan of the Phantom Thieves after all. I hope Akechi-kun isn't too shocked with, from all the backlash he's been getting online. I still believe in Akechi-kun, though. I mean, he's, ha he's so handsome. Like, ridiculously handsome. It sounds like you just believe in how handsome he is, and like, nothing else. Hmm. Can we draw on the blackboard? Oh. Do you want to try drawing the Phantom Thieves logo? Let's do it! Yes! That's the spirit! Whoa, it's the Phantom Thieves logo! I've seen it in Shibuya before too, it's like, totally cool. I hope they keep it up, I've been ready for them this whole time! Are they incredible? I hear they're really getting momentum. By the way, this is a damn good drawing. Is Aomiya a fanboy? Hey! I think our population's rising, we're really starting to get famous. Okay, make sure it's totally erased. He's really good at drawing, seriously, I don't know how he does that. Hi there! The Phantom Thieves are on fire right now. They took down that criminal group too, right? Now it's safer to go to Shibuya. Speaking of which, the melon pond sold at Yonju Main Bakery is on fire too. It's so delicious. The flavor will bring you back to life. Or at least from the brink of death. Oh, it's that good? It's just bread, but I guess I shouldn't underestimate it. Yeah, I know it actually revives us in battle. It's great. All right, let's have a look at this. Yes, people are really starting to support us. The logo's a little bit off though. But they tried their best. Alright, let's have a look around. Um, I don't think we'll hang out with Makoto today just because she is going to level up next time. Um, I think. 
although the, the knowledge points might be nice. Hi. They took out. They even took on the media. Looks like the Phantom Thieves are going after even bigger targets now. I suppose I'll ask you this too, just in case. Who do you think will be their next target? What's your guess? Well, if they want a bigger target, maybe the government? That'd be really interesting. I have no idea what they'll do next. I'm a bit excited, but it's also kind of scary. The entire government would be a bit of a difficult target, but sure, okay. Oh, hello there. Hey, so that weird girl... Oh, hey, so that weird girl posted all this stuff online about her clearly imaginary boyfriend. She says she knit her boyfriend a scarf, which made him super happy. Maybe that's you, Ikisuke kun Huh, stop it. The scarf really freaked me out, so I threw it away. That's only a coincidence. Maybe you should ask that genius detective Kechikun to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, I think he's a bit too busy for that, but hi. Hey, can't steal Ikisuke-kun's heart. It's mine. Yumiko Mogami and Ikisuke-kun belong together. Oh, wait. When I marry him, I'll be Yumiko Ikisuke. <laughs> I'll post a lie about anyone who gets in my way, and they'll bleed. It'll be a bloodstorm. Okay, she's having a great time over there. Can I go and get something from the library? Um, because we still have to hand in that book that we've been hanging on to for a while. And then I think we'll go ahead and hang out with the confidant. Er, uh, hi there. Don't mind me. What would you like? I'd like to return a book. Thank, Thank you. you. What would you like? And I'd also like to pick up another book. Let's get this one for guts, because there's not that many ways we can get the guts. Here. Okay. Hmm. So, now we have Pirate Legend. What else can we do? Hmm. I guess... Yeah, let's just listen to these people and then go and hang out with the confidant. Hi. The fan of thieves are so cool. They took down that scumbag. Yeah, people are all about them right now. I totally voted yes in that on my poll. I think Kachikun might have jumped the gun by saying they're dangerous. They should team up and take out, they should team up and take out Toshi, Tokyo's trash together. Well, I I don't see that happening anytime soon, girls, but you never know. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and look at our texts. So we should probably read Makoto's one first. Exams are coming up. Have your studies been going well? I can give you a general idea of what they were like when I was a second year. What do you think? Want to study together? Uh, let's leave that for now. Ryuji wants to hang out. What are you doing right now? I'm still in the- I'm still hanging out in the hallway. Let me know if something comes up. Seems Ryuji hasn't gone home yet. You wanna hang out with him for a bit? Oh, no. He needed points before he would level up, right? Oh no, he will level up. I mean, we can get Ryuji to level 9. Or we can hang out with Yusuke, who hasn't actually texted us. Uh, part of me wants to just max out Ryuji. Oh, sorry, you'd be going up to level 8. Part of me wants to try and get him up to level 8, but part of me thinks that hanging out with Yusuke is probably more important. Let's hang out with Yusuke, because we haven't hung out with him in a while, and I still need to pick up my card from him as well. So if we go to the under underground walkway. Yusuke, my boy, how are you doing? Beautifully executed. Here, this is for you. It was a resounding success. And we got Samarikarm. Thank you. I'm actually going to just apply that to a persona right now. Because I have our Sen. That's not actually what I meant to do there. Um, I actually didn't mean to do that at all. I meant to go to my items because that's how you do it. And if I use this on our Sen, he has so many skill slots because he ran out of skills. So if I just throw it on him, then yeah, he can have it. His magic is 13, so I think we'll be okay. We have some Arc Arm, which is uh, one fallen ally revived to full HP, which is why I wanted it. It's so good. Err. Uh, Alright, oh, yeah, we have another one of those because we, um, duplicated it. We might as well set up another one for duplication while we're here. Hello? Ah, oh, Ren. The station is always full of people. It serves as the perfect spot for people watching. By the way, do you have any business here? I'm here about our deal. I see. Okay, uh, we've read this before. Can you duplicate a card for me, please? Let's get another recovery support one. Uh, okay, Media Recarmer. Actually, they're not really worth getting right now. Um... Let's try a passive one. Counter at pupil. Let's go for counter. So you want him to duplicate a counter card for you? Absolutely. 
Very well. Very well. Hand me the cards. Well then. And it'll be done soon. Great. Perfect. Hang out with me, please. I came to see you. <laughs> you must have a wealth of free time if that is your decision. I am still unsatisfied by what happened at the exhibition. I have thought a great deal about it. And, well, there is something I would like to try painting. Do you think you would be free to help? I feel like I could become closer to Yusuke thanks to the Emperor Persona Satanta. I feel like my bond with Yusuke will grow stronger soon. So what you call? Will you spend time with Yusuke? Let's do it! I'm in your debt. It would be rather difficult to go by myself. Now then, our destination is Inokashira Park. Let us go. Yay, I love this one. Thank you. Thank you for your assistance today. After all, it would be impossible to sketch while rowing. Why are we in a boat? What other reason could there be but to search for my next motif? I will be counting on your cooperation today, by which I, of course, mean your oar work. Look at all the dogs! They're so cute! <laughs> Don't get so excited, you'll fall off, you know. Hmm. Perfect. This is it. My previous painting captured only one aspect of the heart, desire. As such, I was unable to arrive at a truly authentic representation. That is why we have come here today. I shall paint a second aspect. The burning passion between man and woman. <laughs> Fittingly, our theme today will be the wonders of love. You too will have an important role here. While I draw, ensure the boat remains as steady as possible amid these devilish ripples. <laughs> Ah, oh, this angle. Incredible. That bashful side profile. Those moist eyes. Their overflowing passion is wholly evident. They are akin to Adam and Eve. Yet, in time, all lovers must come to know the pain of separation. Separation is the natural end to any such relationship. But even beyond that, love endures. Precisely. This is the truth of the human heart. <laughs> It will make the most wonderful painting. It shall be adored by all who gaze upon it. It may even be given the top prize in the next exhibition. Wait, now is not such the, now is not the time to be thinking of such trivial matters. Hey. Can you please remain still? What? Return to your prior angle. I must capture your profile. What the hell are you doing? Rejoice, for I shall preserve your beautiful love so that all coming generations may bask in its glory. Once I complete this painting, you will become new legends in the art world. A modern Adam and Eve. Legends? Art? This dude's off his rocker. Come on, let's report him. Hold on a sec, are you drawing us? What? You're using us as models? Yes. A man and a woman intimately swaying in a di dinghy of dreams. The blush of their cheeks, the bashful looks. Yes, this is the love I was so emphatically searching for. Love? I guess you could call it that, but it's kind of weird. It's familial love. This here's my sister. Ugh, I told you I didn't want to come here with you. The only ones who do this crap are stupid couples. But I've always dreamed of coming to Tokyo and riding a boat here. Though it was supposed to be with my boyfriend, not my brother. How could this be? Familial? So that overflowing passion was just a figment of my imagination? It seems my bias has caused me to overlook the truth of the matter. Love comes in all forms. Love is a broad, multifaceted beast. This only serves to prove how narrow my perspective can be. I see. Mm. Romantic love and familial love. The two may be nigh indiscernible, depending on one's point of view. Mm. Perhaps the truth of the heart lies in the eye of the beholder. Ren, it feels as though I've learned something today. I can sense a quiet resolve from Yusuke. All right, we got a new rank with Yusuke. Art talk. If negotiation with a lone shadow fails, you can try again. Oh, 
Oh, that's kind of sad, but it also makes sense, I guess. Also, I think I was saying about the last episode or the episode before, it was with an Akechi rank that some ranks just stick in your brain a lot. This is this is the one for Yusuke. This one and another one for Yusuke, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I love it so much. Okay. He's such a nerd. Right. Your Emperor Commandant has increased to rank 4. You will now earn more EXP from Arcana Burst with Fusing Personas of the Emperor Arcana. Y Yusuke, can I use our talk? Wait, so only couples write these things, right? That means those two... Shh, there are people from all walks of life here in the city. Ooh, tell me more. What are you talking about? Let us return home. Oh, well. Come, it is about time we head home. Please, row us back to the shore, Ren. See you. Farewell. Ren, thank you for all your help today. I have certainly come to realize my lack of experience. It would seem I understand nothing of love after all. Though I've progressed by one step, there is no doubt I will face many d difficulties fa moving forward. When I find, when will I finally understand the heart? Even if I ever do understand it, will I ever truly be able to draw it? Just keep drawing. Yes, that's all I can do. There must be something that will come to mind as I continue to draw. Anyhow, today was a significant use of time. Impressive oarmanship from your end as well. I hope I can continue on you I hope I can count on your help next time as well. For now, farewell. Ah, you're back. It's already pretty late. Guess I should head home. I, I guess you should, Shojiro. Uh, how you doing? Mm -hmm. I don't have anything to say to you. Sorry, I thought I would just say hi. Uh, ooh, I see a crossword, I see a TV. I also see two texts, one from Oya and one from Ryuji. I don't need points with Ryuji, so I don't know if I actually should study with him or not. But we can examine the TV. Next up, an update on the arrest of the leader of the crime ring. Kaneshiro has admitted that he gave orders to his subordinates to carry out crimes. However, countless people fell victim to his scams. Investigating every single scam will take time. Hey! Oh, he really scammed a lot of people. I guess we'll just leave the rest to the police. I guess so. Let's do this crossword! Hey, hey. Alright, what's it gonna be this time? Medicine of varying legality. Ooh, okay. My brain just immediately came up with contraband. I wonder if that is it. C-O-N-T-R-A-B-A-N. No, it can't be contraband. Import illegally. That's smuggle, right? S-M-U-G-G-L-E. Yeah, that's smuggle. So I might as well put that in there. Err. Uh, this is already going better than the last one did. Got at least one already. Alright, and then what's this one? Poppy product. Oh, opium. Right? Uh, yeah, yeah, that is it. It took me a moment there, but yeah, it was definitely opium. In which case, this is about, like, illegal stuff, I guess? Or illegal drugs and stuff, basically. Medicine of varying legality. Uh, I feel like I should know this. Um... Shall I just throw in some letters and see what works? It doesn't feel like this should fit. Uh, uh, actually, that could be bio. Uh, oh, antibiotics. It's antibiotics, right? Or maybe not. Or no, it can't be. It can't be antibiotics because that would have to be B B I O T. No, it's not antibiotics. They are legal usually as well. <laughs> um, hmm. I'm just kind of um. Well, I would imagine that it's ticks, right? Oh, narcotics, narcotics. 
I know what it is now. I'm just silly. There we go. Okay. It's narcotics. <sighs> that took me a minute. It's fine. Just putting in letters seems to work. I got it. The answer is narcotics. Narcotics. This term applies to any medicine that dulls the senses, but it is more often used as a general term for both legal and illegal drugs being misused. Morphine, a common narcotic used as a painkiller in many med medical facilities, is named after Morpheus, the Greek, the Greek god of sleep. All right. I see. Oh wow, even I can figure that one out. Nice. Maybe you got a bit smarter after solving these crossword puzzles. I didn't know that Morphine was named after Morpheus. Huh, interesting. Who are we gonna hang out with today? Oh yeah, and Ryuji are available. Ryuji wants to do studying though, and we don't need points with him. Whereas, someone's available. It's a catchy. <laughs> well, I guess we're gonna go and hang out with a catchy. I have no choice. My my hand has been forced. Will he be outside of the um, darts and billiards place again? I would imagine so. That seems to be where he likes to hang out anyway. Um, even though we went to the the jazz club last time. Um, it just seems like that's a. Hi there? H who are you? Are you okay? Psst. Hey, you. Got a minute? I am a chapman collecting rare goods for personal reasons. Rare goods? Yeah. See, I knew that'd get your attention. A trader must constantly fulfill his client's needs, regardless of an item being sold out or worth a premium. But a lone man can only do so much. I've been racking my brain over how I'm going to purchase this item. Then you came along and, man, I just knew I could talk to you. What do you say? Will you help a fella collect goods? What do I get? I'll have rewards ready for you, my man. If you get me what I ask for, we'll trade. Sound fair? Just buy the item when you can and bring it to me anytime. Unfortunately, customer demand is always in a constant state of flux. So sometimes, an item you bring me might no longer be needed. Sorry, man. That's just how it is. Hmm. You know, he looks and talks funny, but depending on the item, this might not be a bad deal. Why don't you just accept the job? It sounds easy enough. You just have to buy him stuff. Then we have a deal. From now on, please call me Sakai. I mean... Of course, as phantom thieves, we have to be careful about procuring an item and appraising it, alright? I don't think this guy has any ill intentions, but he's still a bit suspicious. I don't want us to get in trouble. Oh, and one thing I need you to remember. I don't want any trouble wouldn't want to burden the clients. That means no stealing. You gotta buy an item through legitimate channels. Alright, my man. Now then, let's discuss our first deal. My request for today is Soothing Soba. If you can find me one, I'll trade it for a Kodeo Koedo sword. Trading items. Okay, this is new. Handing in the item Sakai requested from you will earn you a special item. More requests come in over time. Sakai will not reappear until he has another request for you. Be sure to check now and then to see if he's returned. I think I have a soothing soba. Judging by that poker face, you've got the soothing soba, didn't you? So we could trade, yes. Yes. Let's trade. Yes, yes, of course. I knew you wanted the Koedo sword, too. Alright. Come to think of it, I've never seen chilled noodles in the winter. Are chilled noodles sold only during the summer, then? Even the packaging screams summer. Anyway, this is fine. Good job. Let's trade again sometime. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything else with him. Okay. I, I guess we have a sketchy trading buddy now. Nice. Anyway, Akechi, hi. We're here to see you. How are you doing? Hi. Hi. Hey, Yamamiya-kun. Good evening. Hey, do you ever go to arcades? I've never been to places like that, so I'm pretty interested. If you're so inclined, shall we visit one together? I feel like I can become closer to Arkechi thanks to the Justice Persona Archangel. I feel like my bond with the Kechi will grow stronger soon. What do you want to do? What's the plan? Are you going to go with the Kechi? Hell yeah, let's go to the arcade, buddy! Excellent. If we're going, I'd like to try that battling thing. I think there's a game center around here. Let's get going. Sorry to bother you. Sorry for dragging you out here. I was out here gathering intel and I noticed some patrons playing this. I did a bit of research. Apparently it's a pretty hardcore shooter game. Do you normally play games like these? Oh. 
all the time. Oh, so you've played this one before, maybe? I can only ask that you go easy on me. Damn, that's some accuracy. That man with the brown hair isn't wasting a single shot. Glasses isn't doing bad either, but he's definitely losing ground. Phew, my fingers are going to be sore tomorrow. What a realistic game. Are you used to gunplay? Have you noticed? Ah, oh, you noticed? Well, I'll need as much practice as I can get if I'm going to take you out. Only a joke. I'm new to this, I'm afraid. Perhaps we'll chalk it up to beginner's luck. Still, this did feel a bit nostalgic for me. I had a toy gun like this when I was young, you know. All this reminded me of running around the house with a playing hero. You wanted to be a hero? I don't know that I agree. I'm not totally certain, but thinking back, I suppose I must have. But there are different kinds of heroes, of course. Different stances they define themselves by. For example, one may stick to the vision of justice they believe in, even if others deny it. While another may simply do as others desire of them, seeking to be recognized and gratified as a hero. So, which of these two fits more with your conception of a hero? Sticking to your justice. <laughs> well, I had a feeling you'd say that. But if nobody else wants the justice they fight for, isn't that just blind self-righteousness? I apologize. Ah, uh, sorry. I suppose that was a strange tangent. Pardon me. Whenever I talk with you, I just can't help delving into these abstract topics. I feel like my bond with Akechi is growing deeper. Interesting, huh? That was really interesting, actually. Hearing about Akechi's past a little bit and his conception of a hero. Hmm. Yeah, I got a little bit taken off guard at one point, but that's fine. Okay, we're doing pretty well for Akechi, huh? We're at rank 5 already. Man, we're doing well. I think we're actually going to level up with him as well, so I'm happy about this. All right. Your Justice Confidant has increased to rank 5. You'll now earn more EXP from Arcana Burst with using Personas of the Justice Arcana. Goodness, I've worked up a sweat playing that game. I must smell like the arcade now. I could use a shower. Why don't we call it a day? We will meet again. Well, see you again. Hey, I wanted to express my gratitude again for today. Thank you for hanging out with me. I had quite a lot of fun. I don't play these games too often, so I honestly wasn't sure how well I'd do. Hopefully I didn't come off as too much of a novice. I wish I'd played better. You did fine. <laughs> really? I'm honored you think so. I suppose I've always been quick to grasp the fundamentals of anything, but that's also been a concern for me. There's this constant pressure. Everyone expects me to be capable of anything, which is stressful in and of itself. Still, games are rather fun. It was quite the novel experience. Usually I just read in my leisure time. It offered more realism than I expected, and I was impressed by how immersive it felt. Usually I really struggle with enjoying the same pastimes as my peers, but thanks to you, I had fun today. I hope I, I hope you can join me again if you get the chance. Now, I'll talk to you later. You're not so different from Makoto, are you, huh? <laughs> oh dear, exams. Yo. What's up? I just heard this, but apparently we're having a summer festival soon. I heard there's gonna be shit like kebabs, steaks, the hot stuff. Dude, I am so pumped! Is there nothing but meat? Huh? Well, duh! What else would you want? Oh man, I can't stop thinking about meat. Piping hot, juicy meat. <sighs> oh 
Oh man, now I'm hungry. Well, let's get going already. All the news on Kaneshiro has distracted me from studying. So what if she's an honor student? Why should she get special treatment? Results are what matter, you know. I hear the Phantom Thieves might be from our school. That can't be true. It'd be funny if it was, though. <laughs> Today is the first day of your final exams. Begin! Okay, if an angle is- if angle C is 28 degrees and angles A and D are 88 degrees, what is the angle of B and E? Ah, okay, okay, okay. Uh, C is 28, uh... Angles A and D are 88. A and D are 88. What is the angle of B and E? Well, 28 plus 88 is 110? I think? Uh, oh wait, no, sorry, 116, sorry. Um, so it would be 64 degrees, right? Because it's it all adds up to 180. So this one, 64 degrees. Ooh, we can do this. That sounds about right. Mm. Let's see, an essay question? This looks tough, but let's calm down and think it through. Explain the origin of Baozi. Oh, okay. Ugh, Baozi, in this hot weather? Well, never mind. I think this came up in class. They were invented by that famous guy from the Romance of the Three Kingdoms, right? Yeah, it was, um, Zuge Liang. I couldn't pronounce his name. Yeah, the strategist of Shu. I think the story was about a river overflowing somewhere Zuge Liang visited. And they were offering something to quell the river. Uh, it was Barbarian's Heads. Right? Barbarian's Heads. That's it. A crazy story. And that's how he came up with the Bao Zi, right? Master Strategist came up with the Bao Zi to... To offer them instead of the heads? I think? To offer them instead of heads. Yeah, I think you're right. The Bao Zi were invented as an offering to the river spirit to replace the tradition of offering severed heads. Yep. You finished in time. Nice. Ah, give it up. Time is up. <laughs> give up already. You're a supportive teacher, aren't you? Now everyone, this is the second day of finals. You may begin. Write the name and genus of this organism. Oh, that's the... Snow Crab? Or the Red King Crab? I think it's a Snow Crab. Snow Crab. Ch Chiono Cities? That doesn't look like it'll work. That doesn't seem right. Oh, okay, I got that one wrong. Okay, it was the Red King Crab. What happened when the government issued paper and hard currencies in Japan for the first time? Um, it would probably cause confusion in the economy, I would imagine. It caused confusion in the economy. Ooh, we can do this! That sounds about right! Okay, okay. We're not gonna get a top score then, but we might do okay. Ugh. I tried, it's fine. Let's get started. Today is the third day of finals. Are you ready? Then you may begin. What is the English equivalent of the Norwegian idiom raiding witches? Oh, that'd be raiding cats and dogs. Raiding cats and dogs. Ooh, we that sounds about right. Which of the following is another name for so many noodles traditionally eaten on Tanabata? Oh, that was demon guts, right? Demon guts. That sounds about right. I think we did okay. Okay. Dang, that one crap question, huh? Hmm. Today's the last day of exams, huh? You've seen all these before. You got this, alright? Nice! This is going good. Looking forward to your score. Yeah, definitely not top score, but we'll do okay. That dang crab! My parents are gonna kill me. There was so much stuff on that exam. I didn't have time to study everything. I probably could have managed if I had an extra week, too. An extra week, huh? 
The only people who get that kind of cushy treatment are the honor students. Oh, you mean like Yoshizawa-san? I heard the school moved her exam period. It must be nice getting perks like that. Hey there. Congrats on surviving finals. Today was the last day, right? Say, would you happen to have some free time right now? There's something I'd like to discuss. I promise it'll just take a moment. Sure. Thanks. I know you're exhausted, so I'll make this quick. It sure has heated up now that the rainy season's passed. I just know my electric bill is going to start climbing this month. Anyway, as I'd mentioned, there's something I'd like your opinion on. Money troubles? Well, there's a subject where I could definitely use some input, but not at the moment. I've had something on my mind lately, and I want to hear your take on it. Okay, here goes. Oh, this is all hypothetical, mind you, but... Imagine there's somebody for whom you have high expectations. They're trying their absolute hardest to meet those expectations. Now... This person receives an awful lot of special treatment from people so they can perform to the best of their abilities. So, what do you think those people will do if the expectations leveled on this person aren't met? They'll turn on that person. You're saying their expectations will turn into anger and scorn, right? Yep, that's definitely true. When you work as a counselor, you always think, I have to help this person so their heart doesn't break. But that's easier said than done. This world really is a callous one. No matter how much positivity or dedication a person has, just a bit of influence from their peers can easily mess with their heads. Every time I'm confronted with such a situation, I can't help but grasp the limitations of therapy as a profession. You just have to keep trying. Oh, I'm not sick of this job or anything like that. Don't worry. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to get all analytical. What I meant was, if we want to truly help people stuck in a predicament like that, we need a fundamental solution. Like what? Hmm... Nothing really comes to mind at the moment. This is just a thought, but what if we got the Phantom Thieves to change our hearts? Maybe have them shift our feelings so we won't lose to this unfair reality. It would ultimately be for the positive. Is that really a change of heart? <laughs> Good point. You're right. Sorry, I was just thinking out loud. I seem to have lost track of the time. I should be getting back to my work. Our conversation's been very enlightening. Thank you, and enjoy your vacation. Exams are finally over. Uh, I'm so exhausted. Uh. I can get back to actually sleeping in peace. Hmm. You must have been studying pretty hard if it kept you up at night. Nah, I was up playing video games. Slacking off is just too much fun. I know, right? I kept cleaning my room instead of studying. I might even be too clean now. You two are perfect exemplars of what escapism can mean. <sighs> and I can only imagine what the end result will be. Whatever! It's over with now! Who cares about that anymore? What's real important is the Phantom Thieves' popularity. <laughs> Ain't it amazing? Kinda feels like our time's finally here! I've even heard people excitedly speculating about our next target. You will have to choose carefully. There's no need to hurry. We should spend some time thinking it over. Hold up! The most important thing now is our celebration party! I hope you guys didn't forget! It's the fireworks festival on the 18th. I guess we're good meeting up in Shibuya, yeah? Let's say 5 p.m. 
We sure are on top of these kinds of things. Now for the weather. Next up is the weather. It seems we'll continue to have localized torrential rainstorms all through next week. If you're heading outside, be prepared for sudden changes in the weather. Ah, <sighs> the time just flew by today, huh? Okay. Well, it looks like plot train ended after the end of our exams. Whew, well that went well. I think we've done okay on our exams. And we all seem to be having a good time talking about the celebration. I'm... Hmm... I'm so interested in Maruki! Clearly he was talking about Yoshizawa, right? Kas sorry, Kasumi. Uh, Kasumi, sorry. I Dear God, her name. Yeah, because she... She is under a lot of pressure at the moment, but she's being given... Uh, a lot of allowances at the moment because she's under so much pressure for her competition that's coming up and people are turning on her, on her because of that. I really hope things turn out okay. I completely get where Marky was coming from, wanting to cause a bit of a shift and make people maybe be a bit more positive. I feel bad that I actually like I know how Marky feels so much. I didn't think I related with him this much, and I'm like, oh no. <laughs> do I relate with the counselor? <laughs> maybe I do. <laughs> or maybe I just like him as a character, I don't know. Anyway, hi Mona, how you doing? Okay. Now that you're done with the exams, let's find ourselves a new target. Yeah, let's do that next time though. Uh, I'm gonna sit on the sofa for just a second. Yeah. Good job finishing your exams. They said your scores will be posted next week, yeah? Yeah, probably. Uh, nice. The pod's healthy. Okay. Well, I guess we should probably stop there for today because we've gone on longer than we were supposed to. Uh, I didn't think... Well, no, I, I, I just... I underestimated the amount of time the exams take. Anyway, we're going to stop here for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please feel free to let me know down below what you thought of everything that happened in this episode here today, including plot. So much plot and a couple of commandants, but mostly plot. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Next time- oh, oh my god, like, yeah, we had that conversation with Akechi and Kasumi this episode, didn't we? Oh, I'd really like to hear people's opinions on that. That was interesting. What are your thoughts on the Phantom Thieves? Like, their methods and stuff, do you think that it's sustainable or not? I'm so curious. Anyway, anyway. That was all fun. That's all fine. Anyway. We need to stop. Next time we'll continue with the plot, I guess. Celebrate our success and all that. Maybe start looking for our next target? We'll see. In any case, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you have a great day, night, or whatever the time is for you. And I will see you next time.